Hello again, my dear viewers. I hope you liked the previous part of this vlog, my full vlog. What a tremendously beautiful vlog it has been all the way long, and it's my responsibility to make it more beautiful day by day, bit by bit. So stay with me for the next part, for this second beautiful part of this vlog. I just woke up and decided to show you the outskirts, the nearby places of the Iskon temple. It's beautiful, magnificently beautiful, you can see that. This is the building where we are staying right now, Ishada and Bhavan, and right there you can see the Iskon temple, the apex of the Iskon temple. And there, there are many buildings out there. Those buildings are standing tall of white color. And this is the way to the main entrance of the temple. Just, we are going with the flow. What a good temperature, comfortable morning with a sip of coffee. Getting outside here to witness the beautiful moments of my life. This Mayapur journey will be remembered forever, for lifetime, for the feelings and emotions connected with it. When I first came here, I didn't believe that this journey was going to be absolutely this much awesome and this much breathtaking. But the more I'm spending my time here, the more I'm going to believe in pantheism. Like it feels that in every object, God prevails, God exists. It's a tremendously beautiful feeling that cannot be expressed with words. Signs of greenery everywhere. And this is the main temple, of course. There are many shops, as we can see here. Shops of different types of uh, things, like various things are there. Dresses, apparels, whatever you can call them. And this is the main temple which is going to be opened by the year 2023. It will be fully built up by then. Now look at the view. You can never believe how much beautiful, how much captivating, how much comfortably beautiful this is. These pictures are not enough to describe the beauty of this place. But you have to come here to witness all by yourself. This place is not to be enjoyed by only five sensory organs, but you have to open your third eye, which is called the sixth sense of our body, of our of our biology. Way to Srila Prabhupada, Pushpa Samadhi Mandir. See, the work is going on. It's progressive. And this is called Chandradai Mandir. There are many centers, there are many people out there who will help you, guide you. If you are a new person here, visiting for the first time or second time even, they will guide you, exploring those unknown places. This is the checking post. 
You can also get into the temple right inside the temple through this entrance. And here you have to keep all your belongings under their security. It is their responsibility to take care of your belongings if you want to have them under their surveillance. This is conch building as you can see. Clearly it is written. Beautiful architecture, beautiful example of architecture and um, let's move forward a bit. Let me pan the camera a bit for your entertainment and for your visiting comfort. From this counter you can get you can get a coupon for lifetime membership by giving them a certain amount of money like you can say 200 or 500 rupees they will charge for a lifetime membership So now you can see I'm walking on a village road. This is a rustic road here. Everything feels so serene, so pristine here. Moving on to the next project here. Okay. So proceeding towards our destination that is the cow shed here. And uh, let's hope for the best. As for the information that I have got from neighbors, they have said to me that everything pure can be available here. And uh, yeah. like they have told me that there are hundreds of cows out there. Okay, yeah, you can you can simply be mesmerized by this. That everything is so pure here, so so much authentic and rare nowadays in the market. But you can get that, you can, simply you can get that at a very uh, minimum price range. And this is the cow shed. They are very much calm, looking dangerous but very much calm, very much friendly. They will not harm you until you harm them. Animals are better than humans. You see? Look at their eyes. Look into their eyes, I must say. Feel their souls. They're so much innocent. They will never harm you until you harm them. Even if you harm them, they will never dare harm you. Because they are the best gift ever created on this planet. More than 250 cows are there in this cow shed and more than 10,000 liters of milk produced from this cow shed. That's a huge number. And there is no stink, there is no smell. Even if it's a cow shed, so normally it should be very much polluted, it should be very much stinky. But it's not like that. Until you come here, until you reach here or visit this place, you will never understand. You will never come to know how much strangely beautiful this place is. Cow dung are there, but there is no smell. There is no bad smell at all. They clean it off every day with proper maintenance.